Hey guys, it's April. So today I'm going to show you how to get this Nadine Heather Graham Drugstore Cowboy inspired look. So this look is very much a 1971 look. Um, Nadine is a very young character. She's very youthful and kind of naive. So it makes sense that she would have more of a trendy 1971 look in the film. And uh, the scene that I have in mind is probably around like 10, 11 minutes into the movie where she's wearing this pink blouse, black mini skirt, black boots, and she has her hair teased up really big. She's filing her nails and her makeup is just very like pretty in pink. She has a soft pink lip and just a slight blush going on, a little bit, you know, pink blush going on. And her lids in the film stills looks like she might have like a soft pink on the lid and then more of like a purpley plum in the crease. And that's exactly what I decided to do with this look. Um, although I will say when you're watching the film itself, she could very well have had just like a nude color on the lid and more of a brown in the crease. It's really hard to tell with lighting and stuff. But um, I decided to go a little more theatrical and do the pink and purple. I think it came out really well. I like it. I think it's a really cute look. And yeah, let's, uh, let's just get on to um, doing the thing. <laughs> it's always a good idea to start off with a primer. And I am using the Benefit Professional Primer and I'm working this mostly around my nose since I tend to have really large pores in that area. I'm gonna go in with a matte full coverage foundation and this one is from Maybelline. And I'm just pumping some of that onto the back of my hand and taking a stippling brush and applying that all over my face. I do realize that this color is a bit light for me, even though it does oxidize a little bit towards the end. I got a little tanned over the weekend, so I can benefit from going up a shade. The very next thing that I'm going to do is put a base or prime my eyelid and I'm just going to use a regular concealer. Feel free to use whatever primer works well for you but it is a good idea to have some sort of base on the eyelid since we're working with powdery eyeshadows. Speaking of powder, I'm going to take some Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder and this tiny little domed tapered brush and I'm going to go ahead and set my eyelids and my under eyes so that they don't crease. And you guys know the drill, I'm going in with my favorite Benefit Brow Gel and just running that through my eyebrows for a little definition. Nadine is wearing a pretty natural brow so this is all you really need. I'm going to use this cool tone purple from this little NYX eyeshadow trio and a little blending brush and I'm going to go ahead and work this color into my crease. I really want a defined crease but I still want to soften the line so it's not ridiculously harsh. I'm using little sweeping motions to make sure that I'm packing in a lot of color and then just softening that out a little bit. With that same brush, I'm taking this kind of beigey nude color and applying that to my brow bone just to make the brow bone pop a little bit and to blend the eyeshadow that we added into the crease. With that same concealer palette that we used earlier, I'm going to go ahead and load a small concealer brush with some of this light colored concealer and I'm going to begin to like cut out a crease. Um, it's not like a super defined cut crease. I mean, I could have done a better job if we're being honest. But I basically just wanted a lighter color on the eyelid and since we're using really powdery eyeshadows, it's good to have some sort of sticky base. With that neutral palette that we used earlier and a small shader brush, I'm picking some of this nude beigey color. It's slightly pink. It's just a touch pink. But yeah, I'm going to load up my brush with that and I'm going to go ahead and pat that all over my eyelid. Side note, this palette sucks, the shadows are powdery, don't buy it. I want to deepen up my crease a little bit more, so I'm going back in with that NYX purple eyeshadow and running that through my crease one more time, just 
just to add extra definition. I don't have Heather Graham's eye shape, so I kind of have to go in hard with the eyeshadows. With that same eyeshadow and a little tiny smudge brush, I'm running that under my bottom lash line. And this is going to help our eyes look a little bit more round, kind of like Heather Graham, because she has these amazing round eyes. And I'm going to go in with this Gwen Stefani palette, and I'm just taking the tiniest touch of black and deepening my bottom lash line, because I didn't feel like it was defined enough. I'm taking a black liquid eyeliner, and this one's from Milani. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my top lash line and I'm making the thickest part the inner corner of my eye because it helps make your eyes look more doe-eyed and then I'm gonna do a tiny wing but it's kind of gonna flick downwards so that also helps with the doe-eyed effect also this eyeliner sucks please don't waste your money on it don't forget to curl your eyelashes that always helps open your eyes up a bit Speaking of opening up your eyes, I'm going to take this nude eyeliner and I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my waterline. Now those late 60s and early 70s babes were not afraid of mascara. Go ahead and load up your top and bottom eyelashes with lots and lots of mascara. The thicker and spikier the better I say. Now I don't have like naturally long or full eyelashes so I'm going to go ahead and take a really natural pair of eyelashes just to add a little bit more definition but I mean if you have really great eyelashes you can skip this part. On to my favorite part of the look, blush. So I'm taking a very soft petally pink and applying that onto the apples of my cheeks. It's okay to go blush heavy, I mean it's makeup, it's fun, knock yourselves out. This next step is optional, but if you find that your blush is kind of hard to blend, just go over with some face powder and it'll blend it out for you. We're almost done. So, lips. I am taking this NYC lip stain, and I just want a punchy pink on the lips because Nadine looks like she has a relatively pink lip. Um, depending on if you're watching the movie or the still, the saturation of the pink varies but I'm gonna go with this kind of flower power pink and because I wasn't like too fond of the color I'm going in with this like even softer pink it's a little bit more toned down and applying that all over my lips this lip balm smells so good it smells like birthday cake batter and because when I think of like the late 60s early 70s I think of frosty lips I'm taking a little bit of frost and putting that onto the lips and we're done. And this is it for the completed look. I had a lot of fun doing this look. I think it's really pretty. Um, it makes me wish that I had flowers in my hair and I can just like wear this look every single day. I mean, there's no reason why I couldn't. I just haven't, but maybe I should. Anyways, it's, um, it's a super easy look. I actually don't think it's that much different than that Psych Out for Murder look I did a while back because you're playing with the same colors. I just think that other look was more like bottom lash heavy. And um, this look has a little bit more pink going on. But I mean, the eye look is really not that different. So look at me, queen of uh, variety, clearly. <laughs> um, anyways, um, I'm going to leave a list of all the products that I use down below in the dis... <sighs> I'm not even going to bother editing that out. Sorry. Um, but I'm going to leave a list of all the products used down below in the description box. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. And I just wanted to say a big thank you again to all of you guys who have been so sweet and supportive of this channel. Somebody mentioned that they found me on Reddit. <laughs> and I was a little scared. I was a little mortified because I was like, oh my god, what if they're saying horrible things about me? But I was very pleasantly surprised with how sweet and kind you guys have been. And um, I don't know who submitted my video 
on Reddit because I found two of them, my Guy Bourdon one and my Ma Bertouille, which is more recent. Um, but I just, like, hit me up. Let me know. <laughs> I want to thank you personally. But, um, yeah, so to all of you guys on Reddit, hi. <laughs> uh, thank you for being really sweet. It, it just, it feels nice. And um, I'm relieved, relieved that you guys aren't saying horrible things. But, um, yeah, I'm going to stop talking because I don't want this video to be too long. But uh, thank you again, and um, I will see you guys hopefully sooner than later. I know I have a habit of filming like once a month, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright, bye! Mwah.